What's that envelope? This is my Halloween card. Oh God, I'm so cute, aren't I? I think the envelope prepares you for how good this letter it's is lovely. actually going to be. There's things like, we're getting the internet on Wednesday the 18th. <laughs> I spoke to Sanso on, M on the internet last night. I went out on Tuesday, it was a great night. Check out my photos on my MySpace. <laughs> <laughs> what does this letter in general? Well, all of it. All of them, things like that. <laughs> you did a whole, lovely whole paragraph about your fridge. <laughs> <laughs> Hello and welcome to another booktube video from me, Lauren from Lauren and the Books. My friend Emma is here. Thank Today you. is the promised first episode of Lauren and the Babes with my babe. That must remind me of that time your dad tried to, try to warm your mum up. Warm your mum? <laughs> tried to comfort your mum? It's already gone wrong. <laughs> when your yeah. mum was upset because you and your brother were going back to university. Yeah. And he went, ah, oh, it'll be alright. <laughs> she was like really weeping. And before, yeah, like, <laughs> I mean, at least it changed the mood a bit. Yeah, it did. Brought it up, brought it up. Like this video needed bringing up a bit. A little bit. So today we're going to be talking about female friendship. And Emma and I have been friends for 18 Long years. Time. It'll be our 18 year anniversary. What should we do for it? <laughs> I don't know, shall we do something? We should do something. What should we do? What do we used to do? Sit and read Harry Potter. <laughs> That's one of my mems of our relationship. Um, Sit and read Harry Potter, although to be honest, we did that last year. Yeah, no. That wasn't on our on our anniversary, but that was around the time. So Emma and I met at um, secondary school. We went, both went to an all, we both went, because we both went there, mm -hmm. to an all girls school. Um, and we're just gonna use this video just to have a chat and a reminisce about some of the- The old times. <laughs> some of the times. I bought some oh. props. Um, some of the times that we had and um, what it's like to go to a female all, all girls mm -hmm. school um, Emma has since worked um, as mi in a mixed sex school um, and I went to a middle school which was mixed sex and just how I feel like a, a all girls look at Millie coming as soon as she is all girl, girl she's all over on, um, what it's like that and then we're going to move on to um, a um, role model each so we met 18 years ago. Now, we were, we were in the same class in year nine, but I don't remember you being one of the first people that was like sh on the showing me round committee. I'm very more of a behind the scenes. That's why I find these videos quite difficult. Oh, don't be difficult. We're just gonna have a lovely time. We're gonna read some of these hilarious letters. Look at this, I, I did Emma for her 19th birthday. I'd like you to do one for our anniversary, for my 18th. I oh. love Pinky Punky, and you remember You did love Pinky Punky. That's quite good as well, isn't it? Good use of... Um, I don't really know what these are. Glitter, glitter pens? What's a plique? A plique, oh yeah. You sent me a lovely Halloween oh. card one year. That's Minnie! Like Minnie! Many years before Minnie was even born. Tell me, don't be frightened. Oh yeah, because we are both a bit frightened yeah. of, of Halloween. So yeah, we met 18 years ago. Um, I joined, um, the secondary school that we went to, I joined in year nine and it started from year seven. So I was one of the new kids on the block. Um, and we were put in classes by um, surname. surname so it's just just luck really just that we, we found one another um and yeah so we, i guess it starts from there so if i think about like times which highlights mm -hmm. there's like three moments of our friendship that highlights uh that I, that I feel like sum up our friendship quite well um one of them is the aforementioned harry potter oh, yeah so to emma and i very much bond come over here a little bit because i feel like My, you're, you're a little I'm bit trying to gradually get out no, <laughs> Just me, just talking about mine and Emma's friendship. So I feel like, um, so one of one of my arms, one of get that crumble. Sorry. All that time just been talking with a crumb on my top. Um, we're both very fond of Harry Potter, mm. and um, although our friendship has many levels and layers, one of those big base layers mm. is Harry Potter. Mm. And um, one night we were out. Were we out drinking? I think we were. Must have been. We were out drinking, yeah, we and Harry Potter and the Half Blood Prince was coming out. Um, so we went to the local W H Smith, queued up there with all the kids. Um, then took our books <laughs> back to your mum and dad's house and sat and read them in our pants. If I believe yeah, we correctly. Yeah, we everyone else trying to invite us out. And um, our friend Emily was like texting us saying, "Why aren't you coming out, Harry Potter losers?" And we were like, "We're quite happy at home. We're very happy." Oh, and we were so sad because was it? Was it that? Because I feel like we were both looked at each other like, I can't believe how much death there was. It might be yeah, Deadly Hallows. Right because Hedwig and um, Mad Eye Moody, spoilers, die like mm. straight away. Straight away goes into a lot of action. So I feel like maybe it was Deadly Hallows then. No, I don't think. Because that's, that's where everyone dies. And I remember looking up and being like, I can't believe how much death there maybe is. Maybe it was then. Yeah, maybe it was. So yeah, so that is one memory. Another memory I have is when I, um, <laughs> one of my ex-boyfriends, I fancied one of his mates. <laughs> really mm. badly and I was at your house and um, I had to sort of like built myself into the fact that I wanted to tell you that I fancied my oh, boyfriend's yeah, mate and I was sat on <laughs> I was sat on the swivelly chair I think we were going out yeah I think you and I was like the straighteners in your hand Emma I've got a really bad problem I've got a really bad problem and you thought I 
I've shit myself. So like, what, have you shot yourself on that chair? You're like, no. <laughs> of all the things. What made you think I'd shit myself on that chair? Because of my wording. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think like the way you were sat and looking like, I've got a really bad problem. You weren't moving. I had not shit myself. I just fancied my mate's <laughs> Oh, that's funny, isn't it? So, and another one, that, and this is such a small memory, but I remember us both being in hysterics and there has been a lot of laughter oh, over the years, hasn't there? So one of the other ones I remember is um, we were on holiday with my parents in France. Yeah, I remember. Um, and we'd gotten to Aldi. Mm. And my mum was saying <laughs> she needed something to carry um, the, the chilled goods in. Do yeah. you know what I'm going to say? Yeah. She needed something to carry the chilled goods in. And I was saying, it's all right, mum, we've got a cool bag here, which is like a bag that's An like insulated, insulated bag. bag and then we both started really laughing because we thought we were using the word cool bag like cool is like showing this off. is such a cool bag so we've got this cool bag right here <laughs> this is my coolest bag oh. and um yeah and that's and funny. those three i was thinking about when i was peeling potatoes i was thinking about moments that i've that have really stood out and and also what i feel like is so nice is that we've got quite a simple friendship and it's, it's highlighted in <laughs> The fact that a lot of my memories involve me shitting myself on a chair, um, <laughs> laughing about a cool bag, laughing about a cool bag, and reading Harry Potter. But I always feel like we we pick off, pick up where we left off, which yeah. I think is a very good sign of a friendship. Isn't actually, it? we are besties, but we don't always see each other. We don't that see. Much. I, I wouldn't say like out of all friends, like you're the person I see the most. Mm. But we, I think we always do pick up where mm. we think, and also like. Ryan, our other friend, who's a boy and who shouldn't really be mentioned in the month of February. Can you beep him out? He, <laughs> he always um, said that me and you spoke in our own language. I was just thinking about that. <laughs> and well. he was like, I don't know what's going on. And um, Ryan put up with a lot of he old did. hassle from he us over the years, didn't he? Yeah, uni and Exeter, and he, that weekend in particular, I think, <laughs> he did. He was bullied something chronic. Not that bullying is bad. No, 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 but in like but a banter way. Banter. Just, just Banter, just female banter. Mm. Um, so yeah, so and also I remember if we're ever on the same team playing board games and stuff, we're a force to be reckoned with, aren't Something we? Something articulate. Because I feel out. like we know each other very well that we don't have to be you like can't just talking code. Basically. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to think of some of that code now, but I can't think of anything. But under pressure, it I all comes to out. I listened to this new song on the Daniel. Yeah. That sort what of does thing. that mean? Daniel Radcliffe, radio. Good. Rad Daniel Rad, radio. radio. Mm -hmm. That sort of thing. Um, what are you raisingly reading? Raisingly for currently. Current. Um, and that's, you're very good at remembering things Thank like you. this. Thank I just you. sort of live in the, I'll let Emma do the reminding the me of stuff. So yeah, so as I said, we went to an all girls school. How do you feel like an all girls school influenced our friendship and just friendships in general? That's a very good question. Go on then. I think um, I think you have a different school experience. Obviously, I've only ever been to an all-girls school other than like primary under the age of 11. So what, yeah, so 11, you, you joined an all-girls school, but you've yeah. been to a mixed school before then. I think it's quite a nice, rela well, I think it's quite a relaxed atmosphere, really, in a way, because you're not distracted no. uh, by boys and other things that are going on. And I think, you know, I think that's... You can focus more on your friendships and your education, maybe. I feel like there's a real sense of camaraderie. Mm. Into, and like, don't get me wrong, like the, the school year was not without dramas oh, and no. girl fights and things like mm. that. But I, like you say, I think there's a lot less distractions in terms of boys and just all sort of coming together. And I feel mm. like my friendships maybe wouldn't have been as strong with you had other boys and things been there. Because we yeah, know possibly. my head's been turned by a boy we before. Do know. Emma. We do know. <laughs> but yeah, I feel like, and, and to have that dedicated space where you're there for, for, for me, I was there for friendship and probably not for learning, but like mm. that sort of thing, mm. like it worked wonderfully. And I often think back, because at, at the time, like when you're at school, you think, oh, school's so hard and I hate it, I don't want to no, be there. Like, but fun, fun, fun. Yeah, like where else would you be forced to spend time with your friends? All day, for, every day. All day for five days of the week and just have a wonderful time. And you have a uniform, so you don't have to worry about what you wear. Don't have to worry about what you wear. Do you have to worry about your hairstyle? I didn't know, as oh. we've seen from some I had to tear Do you remember when I had those blonde, um, like my mum, for one birthday was like well you can have your streaks done and I, she pa like she must have paid for like six Fix. streaks <laughs> six fucking like big do you streaks you hair mascara as well yeah I but i had dark well. hair so it didn't oh, really go in my hair and i had these three streaks and i remember um dave taylor said to me oh, they haven't done the back <laughs> and i was like no they haven't done they? my fucking mum only paid for six streaks just that do you remember when people used to have those um like 
they were stuck in with glue. Emily had them all the time. Well, like, fake, like, colourful hair. Like, hair extensions, mm. like, pink ones. And they were always, like, Barbie hair. So they always, mm. like, stuck out at odd angles. And they never went in with your actual hair. Did you ever get one of them braids on holiday? It was just, like, I was never allowed one of those, Emma. Well, I never had one. I'm... Snip it out! I think you have to snip it out. to the out. root? I think so. Well, that little guy, Tutti guy, just so. waving around at Good the top. I, would never, I was never allowed one of those. I remember once my sister had all cornrows put in and I was so jealous. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you never have cornrows. No, I'm not very adventurous. So. Like all jangling like around like Monica. Did you used to do the fashionable treat... three cornrows back. I was never good at hair like that. Nowadays, I'd be banging. There's a picture of you with that. Yeah, I have that done. Do you know when I had that done? Um, my sister was doing, what was that thing we had to do? Um, Innovation Enterprise. Week. Enterprise Week. Mm -hmm. um, and my sister's, you have to set up a business. Um, it was quite a good thing. Though. Yeah, you had to set up a business and you got £20 to start it with mm -hmm. or something. And then my sister did hair um, hairdressing and I remember mm -hmm. getting my hair put into cornrows there. Um, so yeah, so going to an all girls school, I do definitely think, but you, what else I was thinking about is going to an all girls school and thinking about what it was like to be at an all girls school then and what it's like to be at an all girls school now. I remember some absolutely bonkers rules. Like, I remember you weren't allowed to be seen eating in your school uniform. Mm, that does ring a bell. Which is just yeah. madness. Mm. Like, what, what, what sort of, what does that give? Like, what message? What message does that like? Mm. If you're seen eating in your school uniform, what's, mm. what's that going to happen? I don't know. It's madness. And I also remember being in one of the assemblies and someone saying that um, there'd been a report someone had complained because there'd been girls eating McDonald's in their school uniform on the bus nice. or the, on the train on the way home. It seems insane, doesn't it? Yeah. It's a lot more, hell, a lot more, like, like, more relaxed now. Let me, yeah. let me tell you. Let me tell you. But going back to a plus, I think yeah. again, just the not being too self-conscious. Like you to play sport and do PE. I know you weren't a particularly sporty person, but I was in all the clubs and all the all the teams. And like, imagine I would think a lot of girls in a mixed school would think, oh, I'm not actually going to go into that because I don't want to get red-faced and sweaty because of all yeah. the, you know the boys looking at me. But we don't have. I think you could go into things a bit more fearlessly, perhaps. I think I'd so, like yeah. Do. And you could show actual interest in stuff without mm. being fearful that you would be knocked down. Mm. Um, in terms of like how different my performance would have been had we been in a mixed school, like when I, I remember when I was at middle school, I did my math GCSE five years early, guys. Hello. And I went to a uh, maths club on a Friday night. Way of a math magician. <laughs> Magicians. And um, there was only two girls that took the um, Mass GCSE early, myself and one other. And then there was like nine boys mm. that did it. And I remember um, me and the other girls sort of sat by ourselves. And the, the class itself was definitely taught to the boys. Right. Um, one boy in particular who we both know, whose name I'll bleep out now. Mm. Um, <laughs> he, it was basically the, the, the class was taught at him. And right. you, if, if you picked up anything else, if you picked up anything from that off of his questions mm -hmm. or anything like that, and he got everything as well. So for me, it was difficult because although I did well in that and I really did do well in it, I can't even believe to this day that I did as well as I did in it. Um, it was all sort of like secondary learning because I was mm -hmm. learning through a female teacher. She was female as well, teaching um, one boy and also like the, the other boys around him. So like, I, and that's one of the only learning experiences I can remember like being taught in a class with boys mm. but that's how I remember it being like that. Did you teach get your maths again then? Did you do it again? Yeah I got a B five years later. Obviously nothing's gone in the whole what, time. So the same grade? Same grade. Oh, well. But I did the intermediate paper when I did it in year eight. You didn't laugh at the front of all the shapes though did you? <laughs> did I got split up from the class because I was so <laughs> chatty. chatty. Oh, I don't think that's bad in being chatty is it? I can imagine it was quite disruptive but I was oh, never yeah, harmful was I? No, I was just we never, chatty. none of us were. No. We made our maths teacher a Valentine's card, actually. <laughs> we did, I remember. Emily asked him to draw a dinosaur on the board and he did. Yeah. Sorry, I really cut across on that you were saying. No, but that's, that's one of my only memories of learning with boys. So mm -hmm. what about you in terms of teaching boys and also in terms of being at a primary... Do you have any memories of being taught with boys in primary school? I do remember, yeah, primary school was mixed and also in our A-level geography we had some boys over from the all-boys school. Yes. Didn't we come over? We, we did heart eyes! <laughs> oh, yeah, for you. <laughs> um, we, I think they were a really good addition to our class. I think by the time you're that age, and you, I think we might have known them a little bit or we start to... I knew Alex anyway, so I, I knew Alex from school. And that's, 
Yeah, one of um, the three boys, wasn't there? Yeah, he that. wasn't the heart eyes boy. He wasn't my heart eyed boy. Oh, are you <laughs> protesting too much? <laughs> he wasn't my heart eyed boy. <laughs> um, but yeah, I felt yeah, and I actually in sick form went to Borden um, for RE. Um, I, I did an RE a, RS uh, religious studies A level there, and I was taught with the um, group like there was about there was three girls in that class, um, and just thinking what was about that like. Being in the minority. It was chill, and do you know what is? I, I'd always sort of heard that um, religious studies is a female subject, and it's taught by fe like, and mm. a, a lot like a lot of the people that get good grades in it are females and things like that. And honestly, I think that class was just sort of pe no one had really picked to have mm. RS. It was like that w it fit in with their timetables, and that's how I ended up in there as well because mm. I dropped geography and I needed something to do, so I ended up doing that. But I found it quite. I tell you what, though, it stank. That really? school stank, especially after. Uh, because we we were paired with a um, a boys grammar school near us, which was like a five ten minute walk from our school. And in sixth form, um, you could, as me and Emma have been discussing, you could go and do some classes at that school, and they could come and do some classes. And Ryan came and did some. He, he did, did like art. more yeah. and business studies. He did more at oh. actual heist did than he did. Yeah, uh, didn't you do a class C of class at boys in it? Uh, Thirteen did the AS level. Yeah, there was no boys in my class. Oh, I, I was a year. Oh yeah, sorry, there was one. Um, so I was in the year above, me and yeah, Kim, and, did the and we did it, and then there was, yeah, so that was, but, yeah, I guess you sort of forget when there's the majority. Mm. It's a brave thing to do, isn't it, at that age, when you're not sure, but for both boys and girls, when you're not sure of yourself, mm. to go and then be the only girl in a class, or the only boy in a class. Who's brave? I'll tell you what else, though, going to an all-girls school. I think all the way through my primary and infant education, I always had female teachers. Yeah. I and think that then, is primary is predominantly female yeah, teacher is. based. Yeah, so we had a male head teacher, but when we come to high, s our mid, our secondary school, <laughs> I don't know why I feel like I'm not going to say the name. So I've said it enough times oh, okay. now, but yeah, we should say secondary school for people okay. to be. Yeah. Um, we had like a male form tutor for like the first two or three years, and actually, I was really like shy about it, not because oh, really? I fancied them, but I was, <laughs> because I fancied them. No, not because. I think. I don't know, I wasn't that used to, I felt a bit intimidated by them as well. I had... I, um, I felt a bit nervous. But I, I think I'm quite shy. When I was, I was in anyway. primary school, there was um, one male um, like form tutor mm. um, in year one and I had him. Mm. And he was called Mr. Fettis and we used to, once I called him Mr. Lettuce and he got <laughs> so angry. That is funny <laughs> Mr. Fettis is so close to lettuce. He absolutely flew off the handle mm. and he'd been quite mild mannered up until that point. It's so there was one, experience. but you all knew, knew about Mr. Lettuce mm. um, because he was the only yeah. teacher. So I guess, yeah, moving from, so, and also in middle school I'd had a male teacher as well. Mm. Well, how do you find teaching boys and girls? Have you taught boys, just boys before or not? I've never taught just boys, I've always taught, well, when I did my teacher training, that was in an all-girls school, in fact, our own all-girls oh, school, school that we, we went, went to. to, which was, uh, I preferred teaching there than in my next placement, which was a mixed school. I don't think that was because it was mixed that I preferred it, although mm. maybe slightly nice atmosphere being all-girls together. Yeah. Um, but in the next place that I worked at, it was an all-female department because I taught languages, and that I think typically is a female-dominated Subject? Yeah. I would think. What do you think? So what would oh, be male dominated no. subjects then? Like science and I math? So, yeah. I, I quite like teaching boys and I've worked as like teaching assistants in uh, mixed schools or where there's actually where there's mostly been boys when I worked um, in the behavioural school mm. in Canterbury. And it is different. Boys are... Mm, more, can I say this? Is this stereotyping? Like more, more straightforward? But I like no, it's not. If, too. if you feel like, I mean, that's not stereotyping. If you you feel like, but because there's obviously going to be anomalies to mm, that rule. Yeah. But if the majority of boys that you you taught were straightforward, but I wonder if teachers and if anyone is a teacher who like. Well, I mean, you can also tell me this. Like, mm. when it comes to like not doing homework, would a girl be like, for me, I was always like, oh well, I was going to do it, but then this happened, and I wasn't able to do it because of blah blah blah. blah. Like. There's so many excuses for me, but boys are just like, I didn't do my homework. Yeah, they are more plain speaking, more black and white. Did you guys go to single sex schools? Did you go to mixed sex schools? Um, I just find it, I find it very interesting, education, because you're, you're being so moulded. <laughs> you got it? Yes! About the fridge? Read it, please. So, um, these are, Emma and I uh, wrote a lot of letters to each other when we lived at university and um, Emma early highlighted, earlier highlighted to me that I'd written a whole um, paragraph about a fridge. I have that paragraph here. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> I got a new fridge today. Lol, how interesting. We seemed to have a fridge which was twice as small as any other fridge. And I'd seen it kept leaking and we were complaining about it. But they kept telling us it was because we were leaving the door open. But we weren't, Emma. We, we weren't. weren't. Anyway, it turns out the freezer door was rotting. So now we've got a new one. Yay. Yay. Would you look at that? A whole paragraph on my fridge. What is you're aware? It is, there's no note attached. You just simply sent me a, a printout of an article but a handheld form. <laughs> That's all you sent me. Which is really well, nice and thoughtful. Nothing else. Nothing, no, no. Oh, you and Neil around, around the ice cream because we were very unstable. Oh, this is the bit I like. <clears throat> I fell over in the mud today and it was so awful. One minute I was up, the next minute I was sliding all over the place. It was so lucky nobody was around because I was caked in it. The whole bottom of my jeans actually looked like it was made from mud. I don't remember that. Blocked it from your memory. I'm often falling over. You must be more careful. Where's the envelope there? Oh, put them back in the we correct envelope. Sorry, I've just been... them so long. That's so cute that you've treasured them for so long. So yeah, so I guess that's our... Uh... Our female friendship discovered. Come, Emma, you are getting out of that frame. I like I'm it. Do I? You like this forever. Um, so yeah, we just thought we would sum up this by talking about some female role models that we have. Emma, would you like to introduce your female role model? Here she is. <laughs> Imagine Irish. if she was here. Yeah, that you've arranged for me because you did suspect this person. I did suspect this person. I thought this would be one of um, Emma's female role models. You've gone right off that screen again, Emma. What about if I do this? Will you come over more that way? <laughs> if we sit like back to back, like, sister, sister! Mm -hmm. Alright, um, my female role model who I selected is um, Serena Williams. Very good, and why do you love and treat her as such a role model? I admire model? her very much admire because her. she is just, un well, she comes across, she seems like she's unafraid, she's determined, she's ambitious, and she's faced a lot of turmoil mm -hmm. and controversy and hatred in her life for yeah. being black for being female for being muscly and she's not bowed down to what these people are saying she should or shouldn't be doing should or shouldn't be looking like she's smashing records she's smashing rackets and i just really admire her for just going out there and being groundbreaking and seemingly not giving a shit what everyone else is saying about her which is like amazing and to be in such a field where it is so male dominated yeah, exactly. anyway and then to be that person who doesn't give a shit is just amazing. She's a very good role model. She's a very strong woman, yeah. physically, emotionally. I mean, when she won a Grand Slam, she was like six weeks pregnant. I know. It's insane. Not like the one time she won a Grand Slam. <laughs> that time she won Most a Grand Slam. Time. I don't know, I just think she's phenomenal. I think she's phenomenal. Does she make you feel emotion? Yeah, she does. I'll talk about someone that makes me feel emotion. Yeah, she's gonna cry. It does sometimes happen when I cry, Who's but. Um, be? So one of my role models. Nadia Hussain from the Bake Off. Oh, that's a lovely role model. So I feel like, Nat, so for those who don't know, Nadia Hussain was the winner of uh, the Great British Bake Off, which mm. is a television show um, which is on yearly um, in the UK where a whole host of about 14 people come together and bake incredible bakes incredible through things. for a number of weeks and it all culminates in a uh, final of three people and um, Nadia Hussain won the final, I believe it was like maybe two years ago or three years mm. ago. Yeah, probably longer than you think. Yeah, um, Nadia is a uh, British Muslim and um, for me she was one of the first representations of British Muslim mm. women I had seen on TV. I hadn't seen hardly anything of um, true. that person before um, and if I had it had sort of been in maybe like a Channel 4 uh, drama where someone was playing like an oppressed wife or mm. something. That's probably the only time I'd ever seen anything like that. She, like, she was just the kindest, most... Humble. Humble and driven woman mm -hmm. you have ever seen. Hilarious as well. And her, I loved her throughout, and I do cry when I talk about her because I do feel really Are you emotional. Going? No, I'm alright at the moment. But she did a, um, a speech um, at the end when she won. And Mary Berry cried as well, if you she remember. Did cry. Oh, okay. I'm going to try and read it without crying. Because I feel like she speaks with so many women mm. when she says these things. So she said, I'm never going to put boundaries on myself ever again. I'm never going to say I can't do it. I'm never going to say maybe. I'm never going to say I don't think I can. I can and I will. 
<laughs> and I just feel powerful. like, yeah, for her, like, <laughs> I know it's about a baking competition. Well, it's what it represents, but, what yeah. it stands for. And, I, and for me, like her, and then off the back of that, like you said, she's gone and she's so successful in so many fields now and she's such an incredible presenter and mm. cook and um, she's so warm and sincere and just wonderful and she faces such shit oh, yeah, on, on Twitter, Twitter every single day and she's always she never like swears she never like she's always so like I, I don't know what measured. I can say to you she's so measured and calm in her responses to them and polite mm. and like explanatory of her religion and things like that and uh, like for instance like people are constantly saying to her oh you should go back home yeah. you should go back home and she's forever responding to these people saying i am home mm. this is my home i was born here i'm as much entitled to be here as you are and i just think she's an amazing role model and i, mean, I love her so easy for her like probably many people who watch these things like bake off and think oh, i'm not really gonna apply oh that would never happen yeah. to me and then she got on it and not only did she get on it, but week by week, yeah. she got through and then she's won and it's totally changed her life. Yeah. But you, you're right, I think, you know, we're doing so easy for her probably to just disregard that and think, no, that's not for me. I'm no. not the kind of person that applies for a TV program. She's just, I just, I, th I just think she's amazing. I just think she's so talented and wonderful. Mm -hmm. And like, like I said, she's just facing so much, like if it's not someone saying, oh, why, why are you here? You don't belong here. It's someone saying, oh, why are you wearing your hijab like that? Mm -hmm. You shouldn't be doing, like she's constantly facing things. And she's like you said, just so measured and so calm about it all. I just, I think she's amazing. She's amazing. I love her. And yeah, she's one of my role models. So yeah. So those are two role models of mine and Emma's. Would love to hear about your role models. This is the first in the series of Lauren and the Bates. We're going to be doing videos with my sister my cousin potentially my mum some other of gal pals in my life um i hope you've enjoyed it we weren't really sure what we were gonna do we just no, sort of sat I'm down to against the wall and just sort of went for it um but yeah i will um i'll show you some nice photos look where are my eyes I in that photo my 21st and you surprised me when we met in paris yeah you along with my parents i didn't know you were coming so yeah so yeah they are um some lovely uh, friendship memories. Thank you so much for coming on and talking about it. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I will see you all again soon for another victory video. Bye! Bye.